All right, Shalom. First and foremost, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Wahakwadash Rakat. Double honors to the elders over a great millstone who will well shalom to you. Also, shalom wa barakim, meaning peace and blessings, to the hopeful elect, Yasha Allah. Yasha Allah being Hebrew for Israel, the hopeful elect being those of you of the Israelite nation reciting the righteous works, staying steadfast to the very end until we get up out of this thing, and also teaching in the four corners of the earth, teaching the truth in the four corners of the earth where we have been spread. Shalom to you. Also, shalom to those of you who are newcomers into the faith, those of you of the Israelite nation who are here to learn about your heritage, learn about your history, ultimately learn about yourself and grow in the spirit. Okay? So, before we get going, I'd like to say my message specifically to you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, and you so-called Native American Indians. All right? Also, those of you of the West Indian Islands, you are all the direct descendants of the Israelites of the Bible meaning you are the Israelites. And this message is specifically to you. So we'll get going um, on the lesson. And the name of the lesson is going to be Repentance Brings Forgiveness because you have to repent, you know, which would be you, you know, um, turning away from your ways your old ways, right? The ways of the um, world. Because at one point, more than likely, you were inside the world, right? And you were living accordingly. And the world offers pretty much nothing but wickedness. So probably the ways in, your, in the world, you know, the things you were chasing, you were probably chasing money, um, you know, putting that before the most high. You were probably chasing, you know, uh, you know anything Jake liked to do, anything in the world. It's pretty much idolatry, right? You're idolizing other things other than the Lord. It's all wickedness. It was full of sin. So you learned the truth, which is why you're here. And, you know, now you're like, now what? How do I move forward? Well, you need to repent. You need to ask the Lord for forgiveness. And you also, you know, put your old ways behind you. You need to leave what's, um, what's old behind you and come into the new. So we're going to go into the word repent real quick. Repent. So it means to feel or express sincere regret or remorse about one's wrongdoing or sin. Um, so basically repenting, it means turning from sin and also confessing it to the most high. So you need to confess you know, your sins to the most high. But also, it's, like I say, like well, here it says, feel or express sincere regret or remorse about one's wrongdoing or sin. But you also need to go um, ahead and express this, these feelings to the most high. To build a relationship so um, the Lord can forgive you. Ultimately, so you can be saved at the end of all of this. We're we'll going to our first scripture, though. So Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. It reads, Seek ye the Lord Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. So it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So you don't want to wait until the last minute, until the world is being destroyed and, you know, everything's happening to you. Lord, 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 no, you know, you want to do it now. Why he's giving you the time to come back to him? Because in that day that he's um coming, that he's sending his son, Yahweh Shai, to come destroy this earth, he's not going to listen to you in that day because you waited too long. So it says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Right? So you need to call while he is near. Get that scripture real quick. We'll go to this just real quick. Um, Psalms 34 and 18, which read, The Lord is nigh, which means he is near unto them that are of a broken heart, and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. 
So he's near you when you're in this low, um, you know, state. When you're low, you're just leaving the world. You know, everything is nothing is working for you. You know, you tried to chase money that never came. You tried to keep up with um all of the latest fashion and stuff. It did nothing for you. You you down and out. Um, you're ultimately you're an Israelite, so the world is pretty much against you. You know, the world calls you a nigger. They call you black. They don't call you Israel, right? No glory at all. Your your whole nation is pretty much um the butt of all the jokes of the world. So the Lord is nigh unto them that are of broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. So the Lord deals with the lowly. He deals with people that, you know, are low, not the high and mighty and the rich, but people who have everything, who have no need of the Lord. So, you know, back to the Isaiah chapter 55. Verse 6, because the Lord, he deals with people who are low, and it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, because he's near to you because you're inside a lowly state. And we need to call upon him, ask for that um, repentance, right? Well, you need to repent so he can forgive you. Um, ultimately, it says, Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. So you need to forsake or leave behind your ways and your old thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. You need to return back into the Lord. You need to repent. You know, build that relationship with the Lord. And he, the Lord, will have mercy upon him. And to our power, our God, for he will abundantly pardon. You know, that pardon, if you go into the word pardon, it goes into forgive. So repentance brings forgiveness to forgive or to pardon. To keep it simple. So we will go on to our next scripture, which is going to be Jeremiah chapter 36 and 3. Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 3, it says, It may be that the house of Judah, Israelites, will hear all the evil which I propose to do unto them. So it's a lot of evil that's proposed to happen to you know, Israel, if you know what's going on, that's if you are in the right mind. If you're in these scriptures, you know what's going on, you're in the truth. That they may return every man from his evil way. That I may forgive their iniquity and their sins. So the Lord, he's, um, he's telling you, he's asking you, you know, to turn from your evil ways and come back into the truth. Right? Coming to um, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai's presence. Therefore, he can forgive you and ultimately you'll be saved out of the destruction, you know, that's written to happen here. Okay, so we go on, go to the next scripture, which is Psalms 32 and 5. This is Psalms chapter 32, verse 5. It says, I acknowledge my sin unto thee. So you repent it. And mine iniquity have I not hid, right? You came clean. You talked to the Lord. I said, I will confess my transgressions, my transgressions. So that repentance, right? Unto the Lord, Yahweh, and thou forgavest. So the Lord, he forgavest the iniquity of my sins, Salah. So again, simply, that repentance is going to bring your forgiveness. So you need to repent when you come into this truth. Therefore, you can be forgiven and therefore you can move forward on um, learning and growing in the truth. And, um, you know, draw closer to the Lord, draw closer to having a relationship with Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And ultimately, you know, going to be saved, you know, out of the destruction that's written for this world. Because it's definitely going to happen. Destruction is going to come. What side of this do you want to be on? Do you still want to be in a world living on? Um, in wickedness, or do you want to repent and be saved? You know, ultimately, that's you know your options. So we just will get a few more scriptures as we wrap this up. So we will go to First John, in chapter one, verse nine, and it reads, "If we confess our sins." 
he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So really that's the whole point of you coming into this truth for once, for you, you know, to turn away from your wicked ways, right? So, you know, that's you coming into this truth and trying to learn about yourself. You found out you was an Israelite. So now you're like, what next? Well, you need to repent. You know how you repent? You confess your sins, right? If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. Or oh, the Lord wants to forgive you, but you got to repent. Again, title of the, um, the lesson. Repentance brings forgiveness. It's just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. You know, so it's just clearly, it's clearly stated, you know, and I'm being repetitive because, you know, this is just some admonition and there's some exhortation, you know, for those of you who are, um, you know, and just in need to hear, you know, and also here to learn, right, about your heritage and history, right, that you're an Israelite. You know, and these are things that you must do so you can enter into the kingdom of heaven. All right. So we'll get our last scripture and we'll wrap it up. So this is going to be Acts. Chapter three, verse 11. We're going to go to verse 15. We, um, you know, we'll wrap it up. So. So like that's not what I was looking for. Three. Verse 19, that's it. So Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye, therefore, and be converted. Right? So once you repent, be converted. You know, change your ways. You know, turn away from your old, your old beings and your old ways. That your sins may be blotted out. So when you do this, when you repent... And you convert, which means to turn away, turn around out of the, your current direction you're going, that your sins may be blotted out. Those sins of yours that you had, they're going to be blotted out. They're going to be done away. with going to become new. When the times of refreshing shall come, right, from the presence of the Lord. So the Lord, you know, he's going to destroy this world. And ultimately, for you, to survive and come on and go on to, um, you know, to live through this all and see the new world to come, you know, which would be the kingdom of God, you know, which the Israelites will reign mighty in. That's what um, this is all about. That's everything that we have coming for us. But first and foremost, you must repent and turn back to your Lord. So... You know, with all that said, you know, I'm just going to say, uh, hopefully, you know, this lesson was edifying. But with that said, I'm just going to say shalom.